Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. I'm losing my inhibitions. It's the inhibitor. How about the configuration? Well, we're going to start with the Morristot sight, and that gives us an 11% decrease in aim down sight speed, putting us at 423 milliseconds. Now, that's a composite aim down sight speed when you combine all the attachments we're about to look at. Also, though, take a look at the ADS movement speed. It helps it by 12%. The Ivanov, Ivanov Woodstock, that also helps with the composite 423 milliseconds on the aim down sight. Movement speed is increased as is sprint speed because the KV is kind of lacking in those areas. It hurts the gun kick and the recoil, but if you take a look at them, KV is a laser dot. The FSS Storm Ender Assault Grip, again, part of the composite aim down sight speed at 423 milliseconds helps by 6% and helps with the ADS movement speed by 8%. We drop a little bit on flinch resistance, but at 1.2 Newtons, it's among the best in the sniper class. We're going to put on the five round magazine. When I go to war with a sniper, I take five rounds because it helps with the aim down sight speed. It helps with the sprint speed and the ADS movement speed. It helps with the reload. No downside. And finally, the SL Skeletor, Skeletal Vertical Grip, which helps with the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed. It's at 227 milliseconds, which is very, very quick. It helps a little bit with the gun kick and the vertical recoil. But as I said, we're talking about MCW ranges there. All right, let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see how we like it. The KV inhibitor on a small map. When you compare it to the Stalker, green highlighted is good, red highlighted very bad. So the fire rate, yeah, that's what it's all about. But the lower torso damage and the ranges are key to why I really don't feel like this is a classic sniper at all. Well, it's not a classic sniper. Uh, 43 meters effective damage range less and the minimum damage range is 35 meters less it's the lower torso damage that kind of kills it for me so as we look at the kill metrics that lower torso two shots now the recoil this thing is on par with something like a mcw one of the straighter shooting assault rifles and who really cares about the hip fire spread maximum and minimum so when you pull the trigger the thing doesn't kick so you get more than one shot and that's the thing that i had to keep in mind when i snipe i pull the trigger i quick scope and then i wait for a rechamber this thing rechambers immediately and you don't need to worry about settling the gun back down. The other thing you need to remember is to pull the trigger more than once. As far as performance, it's about the same. The ADS is a little bit faster as configured than a Stalker. Everything else is so close. There are no yellow highlights, either red or green. So basically the lower torso damage, bad. The recoil, good. The multiple shots, the fire rate is a true fire rate, good. So let's take this thing around and see what happens in Das House. And I did live in Germany. They do put walls, windows, and roofs on the condos there. So this is a team death match. You can see that it took a while for me to get used to pulling the trigger on a sniper more than once. I really think that maybe the inhibitor is what the longbow was supposed to be because the longbow to me is more like a marksman rifle. But the KV inhibitor did quite well on this very tight team death match. It's just uh, I, I, I don't use it that much, and I hadn't used it that much, so I had to pull it out to do this evaluation. 
because I enjoy things like the Stalker, the Imperium, even kind of starting to like the cat a little bit. And I use the cat more than I use this, if you can believe that. I think this is a good introductory sniper, a good sniper to hone your sniping skills. But then, on the other hand, it can teach you bad habits, too, because you're not going to be able to pull the trigger more than once on a Stalker or a Cat or an Imperium or a Victus. So we won that one. Like I said, it did well. Team Deathmatch. 33 kills, top of the lobby. It's a victory. So I decided to take it into meat one more time because they're a little more rangy in meat. Got a domination. Make sure you're a good citizen. And did you enjoy watching that capture as much as I enjoyed capturing? And I did pull out the Renetti. I noticed on this particular map, I pulled out the Renetti more times than I pulled it out in a tighter map. And we did win a turret, which means I'm probably going to get Gak putting it out. It is a good one-shot kill, and I did use the Moore's dot side on it, like I did with the Cat and the Stalker and the other sniper rifles that allow that side on it. I know the MCPR didn't when I tested it. So yeah, it's a great sniper. I mean, it really is. It, it's powerful. You better hit in the upper torso or above because unlike other snipers, you're not going to kill the lower torso. Although on the other hand, you can pull the trigger more than once. There I am just going to town with the Renetti, forgetting what I need to be doing here. Let's put out another turret. There we got, oh, we got a kangaroo. We got two kills there. And simply because you can pull the trigger more than once. Now on the downside, it's ironic. I carry five rounds with me in snipers. And the reason being is I like the ADS of the smaller magazines. <laughs> but I ended up pulling multiple times. I, I changed out the magazine more than I normally would. Because with the Stalker, you don't, you don't get to pull the trigger, like I said, a second time. And we won. So overall, yeah, I probably won't make this a permanent class. It's a good introductory sniper. I enjoyed my time with it. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Peace. <laughs>